What a lovely view to wake up to again. If you saw our last video, you'll know that we never left the Riverside car park. But that we stayed here again, because we liked it that much. But we are going to move on later. And the nook is being a right pain, ain't you, Nookie Bear? We think he's been bit because he keeps licking and licking and licking and licking. But then he's waking Carl up constantly in the night to go out like he's going to be sick. Which he tends to do when he keeps licking himself. Bloody nightmare, ain't you, dog? Hey? Yeah. But we love you, puppy. We love you. <laughs> we are off for a walk down the river again. But we're going in the opposite direction. See where we end up. Hopefully it will be as nice as walking the other end. We'll have to wait and see. Carl's got a blanket on the back of his rucksack so we can sit down if we find anywhere to sit. Hopefully we will. back to the motor home because the people parked behind us they came down the embankment and parked on the grass and Carl's concerned that they're going to try and drive out between us and the bench and it's tight and they might damage the van so he's not happy being out so we're going back so we might be moving on but you'll find out I will say though, there are quite a few benches along this part of the footpath and plenty of grass if you want to bring a blanket and a picnic. Carl's happy and now we're back in the motor home, aren't ya? I am. Yeah. Stopped him being a grumpy git. No, it's not just that, it's just you got a bloke in a, in a van who drove down a grassy embankment to park behind us and the only one way out is between us and a bench and a bench is bolted to the ground. But I'm guaranteed it will try and squeeze through because the gap does look like it's big enough but it ain't big enough. You know what I mean? It may be, it may not be, I don't know but... I'm editing, which you would have already seen because that's the video for this one. And we've had our sandwiches in here, haven't we? Because yep. Carl made us sandwiches. Free advertisement look. They are bloody lovely, ain't they? They are. Really like them. Only one problem. What? Bags are too small. Yeah, ain't enough in a bag. Apart from that, they're bloody lovely. And as well, Carl couldn't fly the drone on the last video. No. And he probably won't be able to fly it on this one, will you? No chance. And why not? Air restrictions. Yeah. The problem with DJI is a really really on top of all this flying in air zones and that my drone won't even start try to start it it comes up flashes up red restricted restricted flight yep but it's understandable but he was only going to fly up and down the river anyway so yeah. and you don't get many airplanes flying down there but we are off for a walk again before we leave now everybody's gone so right opposite where you're driving there's a footpath and then you can walk down there so that's where we're going. See what it looks like. Yep. 
Nook's up, eh? Because he's on the grass. Nook, go on. Good boy. So, it looks like there's an old mill down there. I don't know if that's the one Ramondo Ramble told me about. But we'll go and have a look. Didn't think we could get down there, but we can. Right, let's go through here. Through here. <laughs> yeah. That's because I was reading the corona thing. Yeah, cool. Let's have a nosy then. I don't know if people live in here or not. That's the mill over there. That was the best we could film it because it's all private. You can only really walk around the front. Just looks derelict really, but somebody does live on the one side of it. It's residential. But nice bit of history and we'll see what we can find out about it. And if we find anything out, we'll put it up at the bottom. I'm talking loud because I don't know if it will be <laughs> recording. <laughs> Has it been being really far away? Yeah, so we're going to our next stop, which is in Lincolnshire. So we will see you when we get there, won't we? We will. Yeah, so see you in a bit. It's the following morning. Oh, little baby Momo. So cute. And we are in Lincolnshire. Very nice it is too. And look, he's feeling sorry for himself. Because we've had to tie a sock to his foot to stop him licking. And you knocky pup. I know, poorly boy. I'm loving the moomoos. The lovely. We are parked down there. Carl's just had to go back because he forgot the dog poo bags. Car park's really busy already and it's only about half past ten. But we're going to go for a walk, show you where we are. And we are parked at a very windy Belmont Tower in Lincolnshire. It's a free car park, really, really quiet overnight. Lovely views of the surrounding countryside. And all the cows are back again. Grazing. 
Lovely sunny day again. Hello. And you nosy? Oh, you're lovely. Flies are annoying in the mate. I hate them and all. Oh no. So it's quite an uphill walk to the tower. I'll turn around and show you. So we've walked from down there. And I think this actually shows you how uphill it is. But it is quite uphill. But it's manageable. And that's the lovely views from halfway up. Apparently when it was built, you could see across seven counties. So Belmont Tower was built in 1750 by Master Mason William Gray for Viscount John Brownlow, who resided at Belton House. And it's now managed by the National Trust and the Woodland Trust, who were trying to put it back to its former glory. And Carl and Nucky Monster are sat in the shade by the tower, chilling. So I don't know if you can see very well, but that is Belton House there. And then there's a pavilion of trees coming towards here, which would have led directly to the tower. And then as I turn around, the tower is directly behind me. But there are quite a few walks when you get to the top as well. So if you like going for a woodland walk, or just sitting looking at the scenery, or just walking the dog. It's worth it when you get to the top, definitely. And Carl sat over there with Nucky Monster. Nucky Bear slipped his harness because Carl was pulling him backwards. And the harness came off and Nook does not come back when he gets off, which is why he's not allowed off anyway, ever. But luckily, he hadn't had a drink and he wanted one. So we came over and then Carl jumped on him. And then we've had to get it back on him quick. Nightmare, because he'd have been gone. So Nucky's over there now, back on his harness, the little bugger. Ain't you Nucky Bear? Oh, he's a bad boy. At least he came back. Ish, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. You have to dive on him because as soon as you try and grab him, he just legs it again because he thinks you're playing. But yeah, we're in the woods now having a bit of a woodland walk. And this is a proper deciduous woodland so it's not a forestry type woodland where it's just grown for wood it is a proper natural wood Nucky's loving it anyway loves being able to run around we are just walking Nucky Monster again 
before we leave. And there's us parked up on the car park. And then you pan round and then you've got the tower which you might just about be able to see in a second. There beyond those trees. Lots of sheep everywhere which I think are in the Belton house estate. Fire engine coming. The fire engine has turned into the car park. And Carl reckons there's smoke down there. So he's panicking now in case it's the motor home, which is why he's running down. Oh, it ain't gonna be the motor home. Bloody better not be anyway. <laughs> 